Now, here's meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 futurecast. All right, a nice evening on the way, and then we are looking at, unfortunately, another wet system that starts tomorrow evening into Friday morning. Let's talk about what I'm tracking, and of course, we'll be watching our rivers very, very carefully over the next 24 to 48 hours. Now, the good news is those levels actually will drop a bit tonight, but by uh, Friday, with the heavy rain on the way tomorrow night into Friday morning, the rivers will start to rise again. A flood watch is in effect for all of us. Now, this is not just because of the rivers. This is also because of the threat of some uh, ponding on the roadway streams. Of course, the soil very wet right now. One to three inches of rain is possible with some higher isolated amounts. Again, that threat starts tomorrow afternoon. And then how about Father's Day weekend? This actually looks okay. A warmer Saturday, temperatures into the 80s, and very comfortable weather on the way as we head into Sunday. So briefly, back to the Patuxent River in the Cranston and Warwick area. Technically, we are still in a flood warning, uh, 10 Point six feet. That's the current level of the river that will continue to subside a little bit tonight. Now, here's the forecast for Friday into Saturday morning. Notice on Friday morning, the uh, levels start to rise potentially to the moderate level by late Friday night into Saturday morning. Now, keep in mind, by Saturday morning, the rain will be over with, but there is a delayed effect when we talk about river flooding. That's why this will be the peak of it. At least that's when I expect the peak to be sometime early Saturday morning, potentially into Saturday afternoon. And then for the Pocketuck River, also that is in flood stage right now. That may remain steady because it's not only rainfall that affects the river level here, it's also the uh, tide. So this is also a river we will have to watch tomorrow night into Friday and even into Saturday. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 not showing any precipitation right now. There is a slight chance of an isolated shower or two, but for the most part, we will see a dry evening. It's pleasant right now. Temperatures upper 60s to low 70s. And on the satellite picture, you will notice the spin in the atmosphere. This system will pull away. Another one takes its place. And here's how it breaks down in terms of timing. Now I'm going to fast forward tonight. Tomorrow morning, a slight chance of a shower, but most of the morning commute should be rain free. You can see what happens by noontime. Chance of some showers pushed through could be quite heavy uh, tomorrow evening into Friday morning. A thunderstorm is also possible. Could also see some very gusty winds late tomorrow night into Friday morning. So the commute both tomorrow evening and Friday morning could be a tricky one. You want to allow for some extra time. Temperatures tomorrow will stay steady once that rain arrives in the low to mid 60s. Uh, same story up here in northern Rhode Island with temperatures around 63 in Burville, 63 in Woonsocket. And in eastern Massachusetts, temperatures also in the mid-60s with some breezes kicking up by the afternoon. So in that seven-day future cast, you could see the showers linger for at least Friday morning. And then by Friday afternoon, we'll start to see those pull away, but still can't rule out a passing shower during the day on Friday. And then Saturday up to 80, a little cooler for Father's Day on Sunday. There's our nice weekend bonus. And then Monday, high of 80. Unfortunately, some more rain possible Monday night into Tuesday. So it's just a situation, Danielle, we will have to watch. And uh, again, that rain really heavy arriving, uh, most likely not until tomorrow afternoon. All right, thanks for the update, Pete. Yep. And there's more coverage you can count on ahead on Eyewitness.